uh, from harmful use of alcohol every year means there will be six people die every minute because of harmful use of alcohol. So this one, the percentage also very high, very dangerous, okay? So this is about the uh, sugar. Okay, uh, this is the suggestion from the WHO as well, which they recommend eat less sugar, which is maximum 50 grams per day. It's about a uh, last teaspoon for adults and uh, 25 grams for children. So, I can show you some example of this. Okay, tea. One bottle of ice, iced tea will actually consist of 5.5 uh, teaspoons. So just now, our suggestion, uh, suggestion from the WHO actually is uh, uh, two plus tea, teaspoons, right? So now you see an ice, uh, and ice uh, water iced tea is already consists of 5.5. And if let's say you take a soft drink like uh, Coca Cola, then it actually consists 8.5 spoons. So almost equal to the suggestions actually made by the WHO for, for a whole day, a one day consumption. So, and also what else? Uh, the yogurt drink also consists of seven. People always, see, uh, always say yogurt is a very healthy drink. But in fact, it's not because your country is just basically consists of seventy food sugar. Fruit juice, also people thought, oh, this is very healthy. I, I should I should always take the fruit juice. But you can see the fruit juice is actually consists of nine point five teaspoons of the sugar. If you let's say one day you take one fruit juice, it's already consists nine point five. Then if let's say you take other foods as well. Like you, you eat rice, you eat noodles, or others, uh, others, uh, others, uh, other foods or drinks. So I can assure you, you must exceed the, 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 the twelve teaspoons that actually recommended by WHO. So in order to reduce all those, uh, what we call the the sugar, uh, uh, acid consumption. So. Better just drink, if you want to drink juice, a fresh juice. So no sugar at all. You want to drink tea, you can put in a little bit of sugar. Like if not, it's actually quite hard to drink also. And also coffee, especially all those from Starbucks. <laughs> the cappuccino, the mocha, and also the chocolate ice blended drink. All those actually, consume, uh, actually consist of very high sugar. So it's not good for the health. Okay, easy to get the diabetes. Okay, this is also from WHO, which they actually mentioned obesity means a uh, will actually affect academic performance. If your kid or the children actually they are actually uh, having this actually what we call the obesity uh, obesity uh, body, they actually it will actually affect their academic performance as well. It leads to the higher rates of absence because of uh, the, 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 what we call is the sugar level is too high, right? So, the, the actually, it is actually quite easy uh, to get rid of those, uh, what we call the NCDs. So, you can see this, this slide also, I actually uh, extract from the WHO uh, website, which they say, staying healthy is as easy as A, B, C, D, E. A is avoid alcohol. B is be physically active. C is cut out the salt and the sugar, foods and drinks. D is don't use tobacco. Jangan, jangan hisap rokok, right? The E is eat plenty of uh, vegetables and fruits. So it's actually very easy as A, B, C, D, E, right? As recommended by the uh, WHO. And uh, this is what uh, I extract also from the WHO. See, WHO say, what can you do to avoid all those? First, you must follow the medical advice. Second, you must stay physically active. At least you, you, if you cannot do a very heavy exercise or what, or go to the gym every day, at least you stay physically active during, especially during this MCO period. Maybe you can just uh, do a very, it's just a, 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 a walking, do some exercise, a very, uh, what we call, 
is is, is a light exercise uh, okay, that you can do at home. You can always check the YouTube or what, a lot of exercise, and also Facebook. I can solve for my Facebook as well. <laughs> a lot of people sharing how to do exercise, uh, what are the exercises actually you can do at home. And also get vaccinated, all right? Breastfeed for, for, for the mommy, la, okay, to deliver a baby. So no smoking, okay? Don't use the, uh, don't, don't take so, uh, don't take the alcohol, the harmful use of alcohol, air pollution, and also consumption of the food and drinks with high fat, especially all the fast food like McDonald's, KFC, pizza. Now everybody order delivery. Uh, so try to avoid all those things, try to cook at home with less salt, less sugar to make sure we are healthy. We actually back to work in a very healthy condition after this 28 days of NCO. <laughs> So this is uh this is a suggestion from WHO for all the countries that uh, what are the policies that actually they can um they can do okay so to engage the to engage the public so first is ensure healthy diets second thing is to make a healthy risk clear that is to leverage the taxes means they ask the government to impose a tax or especially on those uh, super tax. The uh, we call uh, apa tu? Itu si uh, yang yang hisap rokok, uh, rokok, yeah. And then uh, inform inform the public means uh, to create more. I mean, uh, do more actually awareness campaign and all those things. Tighten the laws and regulation. Okay, and yeah, this is about the SDGs. The second topics that I need to uh, I will share with is the visceral fact. Kawan nampak ini, apa benda ini dengan ini? Okay, this is a, a perempuan and then this is a guy with a very big tummy, right? So what is visceral fat? This is visceral fat, must have visceral fat inside. So what is the visceral fat? Actually, there are two types of fat inside our body, right? One, we call uh, Fat under the skin means that immediately after your skin, under the skin, there will be a fat. Okay, we call the skin fat. This is the soft, silly fat that can, you can grab with your fingers. And then the second type of visceral fats that you cannot see, you cannot feel. Because the visceral fat actually is under your abdominal cavity. means actually is it's actually surrounding your internal organs, which we cannot see, we cannot grab, we cannot touch. All right, this is what we call visceral fats. So this is a visceral fats. The example of visceral fats, you can see all the yellow, uh, what we call the yellow, yellow uh, fats. Actually, it's a visceral fat. You can see all your organs. Your healthy organs should not come with the yellow, yellow color, all those things, yellow color. Okay, you, this is a very, a very simple example. When you eat the chicken, okay, you chicken, you take the chicken. So especially the KFC, you can you, you try to eat the KFC and then you take out the skin. Sometimes when you eat, you can see the yellow color fat. There is a in the maybe in just a very small or or, or what uh busy busy lah, all right. So that all actually is a visceral fat. We as a human, we also have the visceral fat, but we cannot see it unless doctor show you. Or you can see all the visceral fat. Actually, it's very dangerous. You can also see the uh, picture beside. This is a, a comparison between a healthy one and the one we actually full with visceral fat, right? So, this is the food that we love to eat, but this is the food that actually full with uh, unhealthy fat and also will cause the visceral fat, right? So why is visceral fat so dangerous? Because visceral fat puts pressure on our organs like your heart, your kidneys, your liver, and make it harder for them to function. You can uh, refer back to this uh, slide just now. You see, all your organs actually, the visceral fat actually cover all your organs. Actually, you make it very hard to function. Okay. Visceral is closely linked to many life-threatening diseases such as cancer. And also visceral fats actually impacts hormonal function. 
which creates the snowball effect, having built up of visceral facts, make it more easy to. Uh, I cannot see my slide. Uh, make it more easy to get facts. Uh. So, okay, this is also another example, which is uh, showing the uh, the healthy uh, heart and the heart full with the uh, visceral fat. You can see it's totally different. You cannot function if your visceral fat is too many or too high. Your heart will, will actually stop function. Then you, you cannot survive anymore. You cannot live anymore. So how to reduce your visceral fat? First is your veggie. This is also a suggestion from uh, some uh, NGO. Uh, they actually say that you can add for six servings of veggies and three servings of fruits every day. Okay, drink more water. Okay, there's a calculation or the formula to, to, to see how much, how, how much water actually you, you need to consume any, every day. Okay, the formula given by the NGO is actually you can divide your weight but in pounds by two. Then that's the numbers of the uh, water that your body needs. You can, you can always check with the uh, website, uh, internet, Google, then you, you can actually get this formula out. Then you can easily check, see what are the, actually, what is the water level that you need every day. And then also do exercise. This exercise to burn fat, actually you don't need to do an extreme exercise. You just need to focus on moving your body in a way that it will burn your calories. Okay? So the example is you can just, uh, while you're actually watching movie, you can do some uh, exercise to move, just move your leg, move your body, but it will take a longer time if, if you compare to the extreme, uh, what we call the cardio exercise. This one just move your body around, like your neck, your hand. This is good enough. No need to go gym room. Okay, this is the fat percentage. That also, this one I extract from uh, some, some uh, NGO's uh, website. You can see if a person with uh, 35 or 40 percent of fat inside the body, then the body will look like this. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. This lady. Okay, if, uh, if, if your, body, your, your body fat is uh, about 20 or 20%, then your body will look like this. Very beautiful. Right? Very sexy. For, for, for the men as well, this one definitely is over already, the body fat. Right? So if you say you want to, the, the body shape, a very beautiful body shape, I think this is the best way. Yeah? If your body, your body fat actually is, is in a range of 15%. Right, this is just uh, for reference only. If you, you aim for body shape like this and this, then you have to make sure your visceral fat actually reduce. How to reduce, as I, such, as I uh, show you just now, eat more veggie, drink more water, do more exercise, okay? So another, the last one that I, need, I, I wanted to share is about the muscle loss. Muscle loss, scalp, what we call is a sarcopenia what is muscle loss what is the symptoms and how to treat this sarcopenia muscle loss can be defined as a decrease in muscle mass and muscle strength so what caused muscle loss aging to the poor okay having a sedentary life maksudnya asyik duduk saja jarang gerak Jarang exercise, uh, poor and malnutrition, consuming a small amount of nutrition, especially those containing protein and vitamin D. This is uh, like a mood disorders, heart, liver, kidney failure, diabetes, obesity, stress. Okay, so this is the eight ways a muscle loss impacts your health. First, you will easily get falls because your muscle is not strong enough, okay? Force and leading and cause of injury. Second, weight. Muscle mass is the single greatest determinant of the uh, body weight uh, that you burn, okay? 
uh, mobility, loss of strength can limit mobility and result in loss of independence, like the old people. Sometimes they want to walk also, they're not able to walk because their muscle cannot support their body. Okay? Heart issue. Your heart also is a muscle, and muscle loss can impact your, your health. Okay? Hospital complication. Patient with low muscle are prone to pressure injury, infection, and often unable to complete physically demanding treatments. Insulin resistance. Muscle use blood or sugar for fuel. Muscle loss may increase the risk of insulin resistance and also breathing problem. These all actually are the consequences of all the uh, how the actually this uh, muscle loss impact your health. Suggestion to uh, muscle loss patients. Try to keep your moral as high as possible. This is uh, what, what does it mean? Is try to keep your body movement or your exercise as high as possible. Don't always just sit. Okay, try to move around. And you have to take care of your consumed foods that strengthen muscles such as banana, honey, and yogurt. Do not drink, do not, I mean, do not smoke or drink alcohol. And also limit consumption uh, caffeine like coffee la. one two cups a day okay but don't take more than that and regulate your sleep this is also very important to save your muscle okay this is all my presentation today